Lose was actually founded in 1998 by my brother Don, who's an engineer by trade. And if you ask him, he'll actually tell you that he just likes to build things. But it goes a bit deeper than that. Having quite a large Asian family, food's always been really, really important to us. And with the boom of Asian dining in the 90s, he saw an opportunity to produce great products for the Australian market. It was done focusing on the niche of Asian cooking that enabled Lou's to get out into the marketplace initially. Many people start with a dream, start with an idea. It doesn't really matter where you start. You just start to make a start and then if you work your way, you just keep learning and keep improving and then you start to see your goal. I mean, opportunity create itself once you work hard enough and you're willing to give it a go and stick with it. Little things will add up to big things. Little goals, little things. It add up to what we can see here now. It's not the biggest, but we're pretty proud of what we achieved here. We've hired a few pricing services at Lewis, the main one being our line of commercial cooking equipment. Interestingly, Asian equipment's only about 30 to 35% of our total sales. It's our Western line of equipment, so deep fryers and ovens and grills that go into all the types of commercial food outlets. Just with the digital age, customers have a lot more access to information. In the past, where they'd actually rely on sales people to give them information, now they're a lot more researched. Now it's actually more about having that direct interaction with customers. We've actually got a great facility on site here in our head office. It's called the Look and Cook Kitchen, where we actually invite customers to bring in their ingredients and, and try cooking on the equipment rather than sort of just selling on the features and benefits. It's really bridging the gap between us as a manufacturer and supplier and the customer. We're certified Australian made and it's actually more than just a, a logo and branding tool. It's a recognition of the processes and the quality and it's certainly a bit of a rarity in, in this industry. One thing that drives us is when we actually go out to some of the restaurants and see some of our customers enjoying our equipment, using it to build their business and using it to create their livelihood. It's something that definitely brings a smile to everyone's face and does motivate the team. As well as that, everyone here is passionate about manufacturing and keeping our facility in Australia. There are a lot of pressures to perhaps move offshore just with the rise in costs. However, just when you see all the staff, I think you realise how much we'd actually be missing if we didn't exist here in Australia, that uh, all these jobs and families' livelihoods wouldn't exist. Now over 70% of our sales are actually interstate. While we still have a strong base here in Victoria, we truly are a national supplier. The roll started about five years ago. Vietnamese food is a very healthy product, and so for us it's being able to take that and bring that Vietnamese street food to the market. Being a food business, kitchen equipment for us is one of the big uh, important things for us to really make sure that our product quality is of the highest standard. We've, we've been using this for a long, long time, and so uh, I guess we've had that ongoing relationship, which means that you know, it's much easier to continue to use pieces of equipment that we're used to, but also have given us the results that we're looking for. Lewis's best kept secret is their ability to be able to provide high quality pieces of equipment for the right price. The future for all is very exciting. There's a lot of things that we're working on at the moment and we're hoping to partner with Lewis in terms of a lot of innovation in that space. Making sure that we do everything better within our current business and current stores is really important. We're looking forward and, and, and expanding and we're looking at doing our first drive through over the next couple of years along with uh, launching our brand and our business internationally. We never plan to be number one, because number one means that you're too good. <laughs> but we like to be big enough to be among the bigger manufacturers, although there tend to be a lot more imports and not so many, or if any, that is still uh, made here in Australia and owned by Australia as well. Being uh, here local, where we first arrived as a refugee you know, to Australia in the western suburb, and we're still here now, it means a lot to me. As a child, I used to ride my push bike around this western suburb and uh, uh, just to look back now and owning a company and something very part of the community, it just makes you feel proud that you want to continue doing it and that's, that means a lot to me.
really, really proud of the fact that we've been able to remain an Australian manufacturer. And when Don founded the business, I'm not sure if he really had uh, an end in mind. Uh, he wasn't sure where he could take the business, but a number of years later, he's been able to grow. Get to a point where we were able to work with family, build a, a factory and premises you know, in Melbourne's west, uh, where it all began. To become a market leader in our category is not something that uh, I don't think we actually expected from the start, but um, to be able to achieve that, uh, to be recognised as one of the leading suppliers of Asian equipment in Australia is something that we're incredibly proud of.